Welcome to Learn Biology and today we're discussing DNA replication. So just take a look at this picture right here. We start with one original DNA strand and we end up with two DNA strands. But before we begin, we must understand a concept and that is that DNA is semi-conservative. So DNA is semi-conservative. And what this means is that during its replication we end up with a half old DNA and half and half new DNA. If we look at the image here there, this is gray colored right here the DNA is gray. In the new two strands that we form in the new two DNA molecules that we form we have half gray and half red so it's half old and half new that is a simple concept. But how do we get from this one DNA to D two DNA? Well, we all begin, this all works with the help of enzymes. And there are a couple enzymes that we are working with here. And those enzymes are, and these are in the right order, we begin with primase. And then we go to, we have primase, and then we have helicase, we have polymerase, polymerase, and we have ligase. And to just make this brief and easy to understand, we need to know that primase, primase begins the whole thing. This is known as the start. Helicase unwinds the DNA, so unwinds. Polymerase, it, it brings the nucleotide, so brings, and it proofreads the DNA, so proofread, proof. And ligase forms bonds between Akazaki fragments, which, which will make say, sense later, but bonds and Aka Zaki. So now, what we need to understand is that we have a DNA molecule. So let's just make a DNA molecule. So here is DNA, and it's similar to what it looks like up here. See a DNA, say double helix. This DNA has the specific point known as a primer. So this red will mark the primer so we'll mark it primer and this primer this primer that we're talking about is the starting point it tells where the DNA begins replication to so begin replication begin replication and this is known as the primer now the enzyme primase so primase comes and hooks onto the primer. So primase, primase hooks on to the primer. And what this does is mark the point. It's like a big flag that says DNA replication, start right here, start at the red. So then another enzyme comes, we have helicase. So we'll just scroll down here. Helicase comes to this right here helicase comes to this spot right here the primer and it unwinds the DNA so we go from this to this right here so we are taking the closed DNA and we're opening it up we're separating the strands so this is strand 1 and this is strand 2 and we're widening it up and this right here this is known as the replication fork so this is known as the replication fork. Replication fork. And it is called this because just look at the structure. We're going down and then widening up and it kind of looks like a fork. So they called it the replication fork because it's starting the replication and it looks like a fork. Now we need to understand something here before we move on. And that is the names of the strands. We have two strands here. 
we have the leading strand and we have the lagging strand. So we have leading strand and we have the lagging strand. Now, what separates, what distinguishes between leading and lagging strand? Well, the leading strand, which goes from 5 prime to 3 prime, this is just called the primes, are, the names are given 5 prime and 3 prime to distinguish between leading and lagging strand. So the leading strand, which goes from 5 prime to 3 prime, begins with a phosphate. So to better understand this, we'll draw a small diagram. The leading strand, so we'll label this 5 prime to 3 prime. It begins with a phosphate, so we have a PO4 hooked on to a ribose, which is hooked on to a nitrogenous base such as adenine. Then we have the lagging strand, which goes from 3 prime to 5 prime. And this one begins with a sugar, the deoxyribose, connects to a PO4 and has the adenine or thymine base right there. So what this is meant to show you is just how the bonds are connected differently. The ribose is connected to the PO4 on the opposite side. But all you need to remember is that 5' prime to 3', prime, the leading strand begins with a phosphate and the lagging 3' prime to 5' prime, begins with a deoxyribose compound. And that's what we need to remember and it will be more important later on. Now, so helicase or helicase has unwinded this and created the replication fork. And what this leads us on to, we'll just redraw it here. We have strand 1, strand 2, and then it widens out. And remember this is, this goes from 5 prime to 3 prime. So 3 prime. And this one goes from 3 prime to 5 prime. We'll just make them same length. Now we have the DNA polymerase. DNA polymerase is responsible for bringing free-floating nucleotides. Right now we have the DNA split and here are the nucleotides, the adenine, thymine, guanine, cytosine. So here they're just free-floating, flo they're unbonded. And now in order to make a DNA structure to go from this original one to two we must have a connection made, a new strand, a half new strand must be made. So what happens is that the DNA polymerase comes in. The DNA polymerase comes in and it brings free-floating nucleotides. So DNA polymerase, what we need to understand is that it reads from 3 to 5. So for example, it will begin from the bottom and go up and on the lagging strand it will start from the top and go down. So DNA polymerase brings the free-floating nucleotides and starts connecting them. So for example if this is A it will bring a T and it will start connecting them and it forms A. It forms a new DNA strand. So this DNA strand is complete right here so we're good. So leading is good. So we'll put a check mark. Now the lagging is a different story. Here's the lagging strand. So the RNA, uh, DNA polymerase is going to begin from the top. However, an issue occurs and it cannot form a full strand. So what happens? It forms little segments. So it'll begin right here. What it does is just connect two or three at a time and just form tiny little segments. So we have on one side a full strand and here we have bits of another strand. And what happens now is, <coughs> excuse me, what happens now is that a new enzyme comes in, an enzyme known as ligase. And ligase connects these little segments. These segments are known as the Akazaki fragments. So ligase comes in and starts hooking these 
together so it just hooks the strand together the bits and pieces together and the DNA replication is complete so this is how DNA replication occurs here we have one original if we scroll all the way up here we have one original and we split it into two new DNA half old half new so that is known as DNA replication semi-conservative we went from that to a one and two strands the final process here is that DNA polymerase comes back in and proofreads these strands make sure that all the bonds are hooked on correctly so let's say we have an adenine here make sure it's connected to a thymine a guanine is connected to a cytosine and it goes through and reads the strand all over again and make sure it's right if it's correct then DNA replication is done and here we have two new DNA so thank you for watching learn biology and see you next time